welcome back to the video classes. We are going to see about the electrostatics. A glass rod is rubbed with silk, acquires a charge of plus 8 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb. The number of electrons it has gained or lost. Okay. So, what is the first word? Eh? That is, the glass rod is rubbed with a pen. So, who gave the first idea of this one? Abna? So, before Christ, before Christ, 600 tails, tails found that when the ampere, when the ampere is rubbed with fur, rubbed with a fur, it acquires the attracting property. It acquires the attracting property. First said by tails. So, what is ampere? So, millions of years ago, there may be an earthquake. So, all the trees get inside the earth. So, after a long period, the trees out of the earth, then the ampere is found on the tree, which are fossilized millions of years ago. Okay. So, during the 17th century, during the 17th century, William Gilbert, William Gilbert, found that when the suitable substances, the suitable substances. So what are the suitable substances? Glass and the silk. Ebonite, ebonite and the fur are the suitable substances. Okay. So now we are going to take into account of glass and the silk. So let us consider a glass rod. Glass rod. Suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it has 5 positive charges. Automatically it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 negative charges. So which are equal. So the number of positive and the number of negative charges are equal. Then it is said to be electrically neutral. Electrically neutral neutral. So on the other hand, we can go for a silk cloth. So in this silk cloth, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it has 7 positive charges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 negative charges. So the number of positive and the number of negative charges are equal. So once again, it also in neutral okay so when these two substances when glass and the silk are rubbed with each other when they are rubbed with each other the charges are transferred from each other okay so from the silk to the glass so two positive charges may be transferred so now we are going to the word eh, transfer okay from the glass to the silk, two negative charges will be transferred. So now I am already having five positive. Now I am acquiring. Okay. So now we can go to the third word. Acquires. So now we are acquiring. Acquiring two positive. Already we are having five positive. So totally we are having seven positive. On the other hand, here I am having seven negative. I am acquiring 2, so it begins 7 plus 2, 9 negative charges. I am having 5 negative, 5 negative. I am losing 2, so once again I am getting minus 3, which are not equal. Here, I am having 7 positive, I am giving 2, so I am having only 5 positive charges, once again not equal. Now, the system has 7 positive, which is more than that of 3. So it is said to be positively charged. Positively charged. Okay. Here it is said to be negatively charged. Negatively charged. So what is charged? When two substances, when two substances rubbed with each other, there is acquiring of charges or gaining of charges. Acquiring of Charges are gaining of charges is said to be charged. So in that question, we are having the word eh, acquires. 
So acquire. First word we can understand. Okay. Next one. So when the charges are transferring from each other, then it is said to be frictional electricity. Frictional electricity or static electricity. Static electricity. Triboelectricity. Triboelectricity. So transferring of charges is said to be said to be frictional electricity or static. Static electricity or triboelectricity. So by this, the current is said to, to be zero. The current is said to, to be zero. Okay. So during the 19th century, during the 19th century, then the Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. He only classify the charges. Classify the charge. So the classification of charges were done by Benjamin Franklin. Okay. So positive, negative. Okay. Then the like charges, like charges always repel each other. We can go for positive, positive or negative, negative. Always repel each other. The unlike charges, unlike charges always attract each other. Attract each other. We can go for positive, negative, negative, positive. Okay. So the charges has certain properties. So what are the properties of charges? The first one is quantization of charges. Quantization of charges. So what is quantization of charges? The fundamental unit of charge E is the charge carried by the electron. Then Q equal to NE. So E is the magnitude of charge of electron or proton. So we can have plus or minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Okay. Now the N is N is the integral multiple. Integral multiple. So what is integral multiple? That must be 1, 2, 3 like that. It must have the whole number. Okay, so by using that, we can calculate the number of charges. By using this formula, we are going to solve our first objective. Okay, so the glass rubbed with the silk acquires. When the glass rubbed with the silk, it acquires a positive charge. So that we said positively charged. Then it gives two electrons. So it lasts. So this may be the first answer. Okay. The number of electrons. So the second word is number of electrons. So charge number. Charge number. So by using this one, we can connect the formula. Okay. So Q equal to N E. So N equal to Q by E. So N equal to Q. 8 into 10 to the power minus 12 divided by E. 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 90. So in the denominator, we are having one decimal point. So it is multiplied and divided by 10. So it becomes 8 into 10 into 10 to the power minus 12. The minus 19 goes to the numerator as plus 19 divided by 1.6 into 10. So it becomes 16. So 1 8 is 8. 2 8s are 16. 1 2 is 2. 5 2 are 10. So 5 into 19 minus 12. So it becomes 7. So already we said the word eh? last. So 5 into 10 to the power 7 last is the answer for the first objective. Okay. Do you get it now? So the second property is conservation of charges. Conservation of charges. So what is conservation of charges? The charges can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can be transferred from one system to another system in an equivalent amount. Okay. So let us consider radium. Radium 88 226 becomes a radon. 86 222 plus helium 24. So in this, which is conserved, the charges are conserved. So how we can say charges are conserved? That is before decay, before decay, we are having 88 electrons, 88 electrons. 
So same way, after decay, after decay, we are having 86 electron plus 2 electron. So totally we are having 88 electron. So, before decay and after decay, the number of electrons are same. So, that we can say that the charges are conserved. So, in that conservation of charges, the charges can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can be transferred from one system to another system in an equivalent amount. Okay. The third one is additive nature of charges. Additive nature of charges. Just that odd. So we can add the charges. So how we can add the charges? Suppose we are having plus q and minus 4q. So when we are adding these two, then we are having minus 3q. Suppose plus q, plus q. So when we are adding these two, then it becomes plus 2q. So like that, we can add the charges. Okay, so what are the properties of charges? Three properties of charges. That is quantization of charges, conservation of charges and additive nature of charges.